it's really incredible. So it's it's a huge amount of displacement in the park, you know, 3,000, 4,000 and upwards. The last most recent event is the entrenchment of the Rio Grande, so that as these areas were being uplifted, it just entrenched that water. Of course, the Rio Grande um, is the drainage and connected all these tertiary basins upstream between us and El Paso, so that as the Rio Grande developed, it became the drainage, so that the entire park drains and much of West Texas drains into the Rio Grande River, <laughs> which used to drain into the Gulf of Mexico, but the it water is... Didn't get there. It doesn't get there now, unfortunately, yeah. Well, there's, there's a lot of reasons for that. Part of it, of course, is just climate change, but part of it is water rights. All exactly. the water rights have been sold. That's exactly right. Yeah. New Mexico stealing the water. Mexico? <laughs> what? New Mexico. New Mexico. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, well, and Mexico. <laughs> I think that's, that's pretty big old, Big old, too. huge water fights between the two states and then between different cities and counties and the state. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you wanted if you wanted to make gazillions of dollars as a, as a lawyer, go be a water rights lawyer. <laughs> Cases go on for years. Yeah, and, and that that is the truth. I mean, San Antonio is still another. I mean, people are reaching into other communities now to try to find enough water for their, for their development. And then the last event we're living in is just continued erosion. And again, that's what we were talking about when with all these. These highlands row down to boulder size, to sand size material, and fill in the low lying areas, and that's kind of where we are. But, um, you know, there's a story of evolution here that's shown in the park to a very complex life, so that when you're eating an orange, just know that it took a long time for us to get here and to have something as complex to eat as just an orange. And, uh, you know, the world is four and a half billion years old. Um, we don't understand a lot of that in the Precambrian because it's so old. Those, that material has been recycled and destroyed. But, um, you know, as we look at the extinction of the dinosaurs, I think that um, the past 150 years since the Industrial Revolution, we have changed the face of this earth in such a rapid manner that evolution will not be able to keep catch up. Mm -hmm. And that's the whole deal with climate change. So, um, not to end on a downer. Yeah, now, really. But we need to be, um, we, we need to not be lazy about science. Yeah. And even when it's not clear or gray or we don't know yet, and even as uh, there's areas in this park that haven't been mapped yet, and they've come back and they've corrected some things, and that's what good science does. It continues to seek, you know, answers, and um, it's important. So I thought today, for those who want to, um, and certainly stay home and take a nap, um, there is an area, has anybody been to Tough Canyon? We went with you there. No. No? <laughs> that was Earl Mesa, I think. Okay. Well, that's great. So, Tom Canyon, if we're here in the basin, here, let's pull out that way. Tom Canyon will give us a, a, another understanding of volcanics. That's cool. Yeah, last year we did, we went over here to Ernst Tanaha and we looked at structural deformation and faults and stuff. And that was pretty cool. But this year, we'll, we'll go to the other end. So here we are, actually, yeah, here we are in the basin. Uh, and we'll get some, we'll have some time after this, but we will meet at Tuff Canyon. And Tuff Canyon is on the way to Santa Elena. So what you might want to do, given the, that the park is so big, you might want to just, after we take a look at this, this is not a long thing either, it's like a half mile deal uh, in and out. And it's right off the road, uh, there is some parking there, but um, just time-wise, you might consider going to Santa Elena afterwards just because you're already gonna be right there. Mm -hmm. uh, or Castellon has a little historic area, I think. Did that burn down? It burned down. It did. Right after we were here. Oh. 
last year, and there's a five-year plan. Like the National Parks Foundation is taking up money to try to rebuild and restore. Oh but I had gosh. a little general store and a bookstore. So all that's gone? Yeah. It's gone. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So about what time will we be meeting? So scratch, <laughs> scratch that idea, right? Well. It's burnt down. So you might consider going to Santa Elena Canyon. You do so, get a nice so view of the wall. That way, right? <laughs> yes, there's the wall. We don't need a wall because that wall is already there. <laughs> and, uh, the, and where is Terlingua from, God, from Santa Elena? Yeah. Ter, Terlingua is, here's Studi View. Here is Terlingua Historic District. Good. Okay. And then here's Lajitas. Okay, fantastic. So, um... I mean, it's 9.15. The thing is, it's, I mean, it takes a little bit to drive over there. It's probably 45 30, miles an hour, yeah. 30, I know, and it's about 30 miles away. Um, so we could leave at, I don't know, it's 9.15. Y'all want to leave at 10? Does that sound?